Hi, it's Simon Argo. So today I'm going to do my May favorites. I can't believe that May is actually already over. Um, May is one of my favorite months because it is my birthday month. I love spring and summer. So yeah, I am quite excited um, about June. Today is the 1st of June. I can't really believe it's already summer, but I'm, I'm, I'm glad about it. I'm really happy that it's summer. So yeah, before I ramble on, Let's get into these favorites. So my favorite number one is my favorite face makeup product. And that is my Dermablend foundation. It looks like this. It's from Vichy. I have it in the color Opal and in the color Nude. And it's the color Nude I'm going to be talking about in this video today. So since I did get a spray tan in May, um, I needed to switch up my foundation routine because um, usually I'm very pale and with a spray tan I'm pretty, you know, tan. So um, this color is perfect when I have my spray tan. I'm wearing the foundation today and I love this foundation. It's very full coverage and it's perfect if you have oily skin and acne prone skin like me. The only problem is that the shade range for this product is not very wide. So if you're very pale or very dark, you will have to mix this foundation with something else or else it's just not going to work. But yeah, for my skin tone right now, this is perfect. So my favorite number two is my favorite lip makeup product. And again, it's what I'm wearing today. So I have on my Wet n Wild Silk Finish lipstick in the color Dark Pink Frost. It looks like this. If you guys watched my latest Wet n Wild um, lipstick swatch video you would have seen this color so that is what I'm wearing on my lips I think it's so beautiful in my wet n wild swatch video I talked about it but um, basically just for anyone who didn't watch that video I think this color is beautiful I love how it has like a gold it's a pink but it has a gold like sheen to it so it gives you that almost like 3d lip look because it um, your lips are going to be pink on the outer corners but gold in the center so it really gives you like a pouty look and I love this finish and I love the color I love the um, pigmentation it's just great and it's super affordable so my favorite number three is my favorite eye makeup product and that has to be my new Lorac Pro palette this is the first edition so this is what the colors looks like and I am using this palette on my eyes today I'm just wearing a little bit of taupe in my crease so I think this palette is super pigmented and you get a lot of beautiful colors. I really love the color variety in this palette. I love how you get equal amounts of matte and shimmer. And yeah, I just love that it's not like super bronzy or goldy because I already have a ton of palettes like that. So I love like it's more like browns and some cool tones. It's mainly cool tones in here. Basically it's a cool tone palette. I really love this. So my favorite number four is my favorite perfume and that has to be my Lady Gaga The Fame perfume. This is in a roller ball type packaging and the reason why it's in this packaging is actually because I completely ran out of my regular Lady Gaga The Fame perfume in the regular bottle. So now this is all I have left um, so I totally need to go out and get a new one but um, yeah I don't really spend that much money on perfume. I just need a little something. I don't wear that much perfume, so it's not something I spend a lot of money on. But I do like to smell good. <laughs> so um, this one is great. If you can get your hands on it, totally try it out. It smells so good. So my favorite number five is my favorite makeup tool. And for that I have to choose my little um, mini beauty blender dupe. As you can see, mine is dirty. <laughs> I used it today for my... Um, concealer but I have been loving this um, because it can reach all those like hard to reach areas like underneath the eyes in the corner of the eyes on the eyelid um, around the nose all of that and it's also perfect for like cleaning up the brow like with some concealer or foundation because it is so small so you're you will you get more precision with this kind of sponge so I absolutely love this so my favorite number six is my favorite outfit and I'm going to show you right now. So I'm wearing just a basic gray t-shirt. Um, it just says free reeling. And I don't even know where I got this shirt. But um, I have just been loving t-shirts. And then on the bottom I'm wearing these shorts. And I have been loving just a basic t-shirt plus 
shorts combination because I want to show off my spray tan skin. So today I am actually wearing leggings underneath these shorts, but that's because it's really cold today. So <laughs> don't mind that. But yeah, usually I would just wear a t-shirt and some shorts so I can show off my new tan skin. Um, yeah, that's basically what I have been wearing. So my favorite number seven is my favorite buy. And for that I chose another palette that I bought in this past month. It is the Nude Toot palette from The Balm. So this is what it looks like. I used a little bit of Snobby on my eyelid today. And then I used Sirius as my eyeliner. So I actually bought this palette as a birthday present for myself. And I love it. The colors are just great quality and they are just so easy to blend, super pigmented. You know, they're dream shadows to work with. And again, I really love the color variety in here. And you also get a nice like mixture of matte and shimmer. So my favorite number eight is my favorite song. And honestly, that has to be um, feeling myself. Um, Nikki and Beyonce's collaboration. I know everybody has been listening to that song and watching the music video here the past month and I have been listening to it a lot as well. I haven't actually watched the full music video yet because I don't have Tidal um, and I don't support Tidal. I think, I don't know, I don't like it but I have seen of course clips and still pictures from the music video and I think it looks great. So I can't wait to watch it, um, and yeah, I really like the song. So my favorite number 9 is my favorite nail product, and that has to be this nail polish. I'm really, really excited about it. This is Essie's Ruffles and Feathers. It's what I'm wearing today on my nails. This color is so beautiful, and I can literally rave about this this little thing for hours it's so freaking good so this is the first ever Essie nail polish that I own um, I have never tried an Essie nail polish before I always thought that Essie was kind of like an old ladies nail polish brand I don't know why I just always thought like the bottle is very like I don't know like classic so I don't know I always thought it was like for older people or it wasn't really that interesting to me but um, a new shop opened in my town and they sell Essie nail polishes at half price. So of course I had to give it a go, especially when I saw this color. I thought it was so freaking gorgeous. It instantly caught my eye. And this color is phenomenal. This nail polish lasts ages on my nails. It literally lasts so long. I have had this nail polish on for over a week. I have been showering, I have been washing my hair, I have been doing, um, you know, I have been cooking, I have been doing all types of stuff with this nail polish on, and it's still here. And it hasn't chipped at all, so I'm just amazed. So I did two coats plus a top coat, just a basic clear nail polish top coat from Wet n Wild, and it just lasts and lasts and lasts and lasts. So yeah, I think this is amazing. I did go ahead and buy three new um, Essie nail polishes off of eBay. So I can't wait to try those out either. I hope they are just as amazing as this one. Yeah, this is really goodness in a little bottle. If you guys have never tried Essie before either, you're sleeping on it and you need to go ahead and try it out. And by the way, I'm sorry if you can hear my dog snoring in the background. He's sleeping on my bed right over here. So my favorite number 10 is my favorite artist and that has to be Mojo and I believe Mojo is like French house and you know I am of the opinion that French house is the best house like Daft Punk, Stardust, Mojo, everybody from France just makes the best house music and electronic music ever and I used to be so in love with Mojo's songs when I was little so um, yeah, I have been taking a trip down, down memory lane and re-listening to a lot of Mojo songs. I just love Mojo. They're so good. So my favorite number 11 is my favorite food. And my favorite food has to be um, fish. I have been eating so much fish in May. I have been eating salmon, tuna, mackerel, like so much fish. And I personally love fish. I think it's so delicious. 
And I have always been a big fan of fish. I have always always thought that it tastes good. Like back in I don't know like third grade or something. I really like I really liked fish and it was totally uncool to eat or like fish. Um it was like nasty and it smelled <laughs> and all this shit, you know. But I really liked it and I still do, so that's it. So my favorite number 12 is my favorite album. Honestly, I don't have a favorite album for me. Um, I haven't really been listening to a, you know, an entire album in May. So I didn't want to just, you know, come up with something just to put in this video. So I'm just going to be honest and say that I haven't been listening to an album. So unfortunately, I can't tell you guys about my favorite album of May. So my favorite number 13 is my favorite hair accessory or hair product. And that has been this little flower headband. So I got this flower headband from um, shopmissa.com. It was $1 and it's called the Emma um, flower headpiece or something like that. And I think it's so cute and so gorgeous. I think it's very like spring and summer appropriate and I think it's like really cute and girly and I don't know it makes me feel like I'm five years old and you know I love the kind of jewelry and accessories that five-year-olds wear so yeah I think this is really gorgeous and it's really great quality especially for the price one dollar you can't beat that so my favorite number 14 is my favorite accessory and that has to be my bracelet so this is like a rainbow colored bracelet I got it from Born Pretty Store and it was like one or two bucks again super cheap and I love it I love how it like changes colors and I love the gold detailing and it's very sturdy I love everything about it and again I think this is very like summer and spring appropriate um, because of the colors of course and if you wear like a lot of neutral colors like black white brown gray um, in your clothing it can be really fun to have like a pop of color in your accessories so my final favorite, favorite number 15, is my favorite pair of shoes. And that has got to be my Pucci sandals. So these are from Emilio Pucci. I bought them second hand. Um, and they are so freaking gorgeous. And they are pretty comfortable to wear. And I have been wearing these so much in May. Again, to show off my tan and um, to show off my nail polish on my toes and all that good stuff. So they do have like a wedge heel. It's pretty tall, you know, for an everyday heel, at least in my opinion. But um, because it's a wedge heel, it's pretty easy to walk in. Um, so I think these are appropriate for everyday. And yeah, as I said, they are pretty comfortable. Um, and they sit very nicely on the feet even though they only have you know this little um bow thing on um, around your feet they still sit really comfortable and they don't feel like they're going to slip off and again i love this super cute print on the bow it's very like um colorful and springy and summery in my opinion so of course i have been loving these as well so that was all for my main favorites so yeah um, I don't think I have anything else to say. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. So take care and bye bye.